I am Nathan Kennedy, and we're with OrigamiForPeace.org. Now, what we're going to film today is the flying eagle. And uh, one of the things with the eagle, if you look at the diagram here, um, it shows it's kind of a convoluted way to get to step three, where this is just an inverted square base or a uh, water bomb base. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just fold a water bomb base, which is almost the same as the square base, but it's inverted. So I just fold down diagonals and notice I'm folding outside out. Then I fold down the horizontal and the vertical, outside out, or uh, inside out, I mean. Simply put, uh, I'm just folding the paper in half four times. Now, this is uh, what is frequently known as the water bomb base, and then here is what is known as the square base. So we'll start from here, and the first thing we want to do, we want to uh, fold the sides in, and now look at that. It looks just like step three. Now, the first thing we want to do is we want to open this up, and Bring it down, and let's see, it's a little bit easier to, to line it up looking at the opposite side. So there's side one, and now that we're here, it's telling us to flip it over for the next step, which we just take the another flap, bring it up just like this. You can even line it up to the tip here to get it just right. Now, what we're supposed to do is a, uh, a pedal fold. Bring in this up here and we just line the tip up with the center, just like that, and then fold the uh, sides down, So it looks just like that. Step eight. Now it's telling us to flip this over. And we also want to flip the diagram over. So now it's step nine. We're supposed to fold these edges into the, uh, into the center. Now it looks just like that, step 10. Now, we're supposed to fold this down. This is going to become the tail, and we want to fold it down just about that much. Step 11. Now what it's telling us to do is to fold these sides in, and it looks best if you just pretty much leave the wings alone here, so it'll look like that. And the next step here, in step 12, it is telling us to fold the whole figure in half, just like this. 
then what we want to do is bring this down to create the uh, hook for the flying eagle. So we'll fold it just like that. Then I uh, also need to fold the tail in this way. Like this. Fold this down. Get a little bit of a hook right there. Then I'm um, fold this down just like this to create the tail. And now we're at this point, and what we want to do is fold this down just like that. Now I want to do an inverted fold or a zigzag fold. So I fold up like that first, and then I bring back down just like that now I uh, fold this in for the hook or for the uh, beak so it looks like that and it is pretty much done right now notice it perches pause action we're back, and what you can do with this little guy right here is if you have a cup or something to put him on, he will, he will stand. And also with the wings, you can kind of let him come out just like that. So there we have the finished flying.